Let's start by putting the profile of the base shoe into the tool. Earlier we used this setup tool and it shows you for baseboard you insert the tool this way and it leaves you a little platform to set your baseboard on. Now with base shoe when you slide it in you're going to get this little fence back here that you're going to put your sample piece again against so you could set up your shims. Now this entire assembly we've been rotating sits on a cradle and if you ever go to slide the base shoe set up in and it doesn't go in it's because it's hitting the cradle. Just rotate it counterclockwise slightly, bring it in, rotate it clockwise and lock it against that cradle that it sits on and it'll give you a little more stable platform because you've just twisted it and locked it in. Now you can take your anti-tear-off fixture, which is going to help with your setup, bring it out to the end, and take your one inch sample of your base shoe and set it right in there. Loosen your shims and begin to slide them across to start forming your profile. Now the only difference with with the base shoe is you're going to have to leave yourself a little bit of a ramp over here for your guide pin to ride on. We'll show you that in, in how we do that in a minute. What I'm going to do is set these shims up to form the profile. Okay, and then I'm going to show you what I mean when I talk about that ramp. Okay, that looks really good. Okay. Okay, lock my profile in. Alright, now I'm going to tilt this all up and give you a close-up view so you can better see exactly what I did. Here's a close-up top view of the profile I just set in for base shoe. You'll notice that the base shoe, the top, is touching this anti tear off fixture. There's no shims that go between it. The shims are, make the perfect profile, and I left myself a little bit of a ramp here. Now, when I start my cut, I'm going to go right here with my guide pin and follow up, and the blade just above it is going to make a perfect profile of what the shims show. So I can take this out, I can now loosen up the rotating block, slide out my setup tool, and I always have to remember to convert this back to an anti-tear-off fixture. So I slide this just past the last shim. I always want to be able to feel a little bit of shim right here to tuck this back behind the blade as it passes. And this is ready to go with all your base shoe cuts.